So guys, I'm going to do a real quick video on this Think Car. This is the uh, Think Scan 600, I think it's called. So we're going to plug this in. I'm going to use this to do a test drive and look at uh, when the readiness monitor is set. So there we go. So now we'll go under I am for emissions monitors and now it'll search for what type of communication it needs. There we go, it's the last one. So we'll go under since we're cleared. And we got a couple incompletes. Let's see how many incompletes we got. Three. So I'm going to drive this, or four. I guess we got four. So I'm going to drive this, and we'll see when they're ready. I guess this lights up when there's no DTCs pending. Permanent. Okay, so it looks like all the monitors reset during my test drive. So now they all say okay. Well, I guess we got one incomplete EVAP. But everything else is okay, so this will pass inspection. So that's good. So let's go out of here. Now we'll go under OBD and we'll look at this. I'll let this connect and then we'll come back to it. Okay, so this is what came up. Tells you how many are complete. Getting vehicle information, we can read. Codes, no fault codes. See, it says no DTCs now. We can look at our IM readiness like we did before. Go into data stream. Getting supported PIDs. Look at that. 17 PIDs. So we got that. Uh, it's graphic items. Does this mean we can graph it? Let's see. Oh yeah, we can graph. That's awesome. Okay, so we can graph. This thing has a really nice screen for the price. Let's uh, exit out of this. Let me go back. I gotta wait for this to end. Okay, so that was underneath there. So we can go under scan, and this will bring up all the enhanced data on the car. So if we go to Honda, now this takes a while to load. This might take like a minute or so to load. Let's see, automatic select. Yeah, see, it's gonna scan all the modules, and uh, the ABS, I think, takes the longest on this car. We'll see what happens. So now we're in the transmission. Now we're in the anti lock brakes. And now we're in the restraint. Here we go. So now if we go into the engine, we'll have all the enhanced data. Like the OEM tool will have. Is that 875 pits? That can't be right. We Oh, maybe there's 800 and some possible pits. Yeah, let's... Let's go up and just do it. Let's see. Here we go. So we'll go down through here. Look at all these pits we can pick. It's pretty slow going through here. We'll just pick Barrow. 
and we'll confirm this. Let's see. There's our barrel. So that is awesome. So that works. So let's back up. Let's see. Let's read trouble codes. Let's go under ABS. Oh, look at that. We got one right rear wheel speed sensor failure. See how it came up permanent? It lit up. That is awesome. Let's see. Read data stream. Can we go through these pages faster? Okay, so if you press right or left, it jumps through the pages faster. So I can't back up right now. Somebody's in my way, but yeah, this is awesome. At least we can go into all this data and see it all right from here. So, let's see, is there anything else that we can show? Let's see, service. I think we can do service. Resets. Yeah, so we can come in here and reset stuff if the car has it. This car, I don't think that I don't think this car has any of these that we can do. So, hopefully you guys like it. Seems like a pretty decent tool for the price, and I think it's free updates forever. Could be wrong, but it's cheap and it works. See you later.